Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and I had planned to do a special collaboration for you guys today as I'm up in Massachusetts. However, what I hadn't planned on was getting rear-ended on the drive up. My daughter Abby and I are up here for a dive camp this weekend, so we're going to do something totally different for today's video. I have a bunch of footage from various stores that I've visited and I thought that I would just go over some of the things that I look for when I'm looking at fish in a store to know whether or not to purchase them. Now for me personally, one thing that I particularly like is when the tanks are labeled well, and that's both the Latin name and the common name because you can avoid a lot of confusion if both of that information is there because as you guys know, or as I know, there's a lot of overlap and common names and it can get quite confusing and it's always nice to know what you're buying. Um, up next is, you wanna look for, this sounds obvious and it is, but obviously healthy fish. They should have bright eyes, they should have round bellies, and they should have deportment appropriate for the species that they are. And what I mean by that is if they're a more outgoing cichlid, uh, they should be coming up to the glass and interacting with you. If they're a smaller schooling fish, they should be interacting with each other. But regardless, they should have nice round bellies, nice clear eyes, good healthy slime coat, and all in all look healthy. Now I particularly like it when stores label their tanks with the date of arrival of the fish because this can help us a lot knowing how long it's been there and gauging how the fish look accordingly. Now when you're looking at something like snails, you'd never want to have them pick snails for you that are not moving around that are lethargic, that are partially open, you want to see snails that are actively moving around the aquarium. This means that they've been being fed, this means that they're healthy, and this means that they are in good shape. Now, sometimes it can be tricky to tell whether catfish and plecos are in good condition, uh, especially plecos. As armored catfish, it can be difficult to tell if they're underweight or overweight, but one thing that you can look for is to make sure that they're not sunken in, sunken in around the eyes. Having this nice rounded head can be a great way to tell that they are in decent condition. Catfish should be active and swimming and round belly. Anyway, that's just a few things that I look for when I'm looking at stores. Another thing to take into consideration is take note of the filtration. If the entire store is on a central system, make sure you're looking in, in the tanks, even the ones that hold fish that you may not personally be interested in buying. As always, let me know in the comments down below what you guys look for. I want to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.